carburetor hello everyone in this video i will be explaining about simple carburetor the function of the carburetor is to produce combustible air fuel mixture by mixing the proper amount of fuel with air as per the engine load requirement before supplying charge to the engine cylinder a simple carburetor mainly consists of float chamber fuel discharge nozzle and a metering orifice venturi throttling valve and choke valve before venturi there is a air filter which filters out all the incoming impurities with air into the carburetor the function of the float and the needle valve system is to maintain a constant level of gasoline in the float chamber if the amount of fuel in the float chamber falls below the designed level the float goes down thereby opening the fuel supply valve and admitting fuel when designed level of fuel is reached float closes the fuel supply valve thus stops the additional fuel flow from the supply system the float chamber is vented either to the atmosphere or upstream side of the venturi this will keep the float chamber at atmospheric pressure during the suction stroke air is drawn through the venturi which has minimum cross section area at the throat as the air passes through the venturi the velocity of the air increases to maximum at venturi throat as the velocity increases the pressure at the venturi throat decreases and becomes lower than that of the pressure inside the float chamber atmospheric pressure in the float chamber pushes the fuel causing the fuel to rush through the metering orifice and comes into the venturi throat from fuel discharge nozzle since the opening of the fuel discharge nozzle is small as the fuel comes out of the discharge nozzle it atomizes and mixes with the air making uniformly mixed air fuel mixture this air fuel mixture which is also called as charge is fed into engine cylinder the pressure difference between the float chamber and the throat of venturi is known as carburetor depression to avoid overflow of the fuel through the jet the level of the fuel in the float chamber is maintained at a level slightly below the tip of the fuel discharge nozzle the gasoline engine is quantity governed which means that when power output is to be varied at a particular speed the amount of charge delivered to the engine cylinder is varied this is achieved by means of throttle valve usually of butterfly type which is situated after venturi tube if the throttle is fully closed no air will flow through the venturi in this case the idler air bleed will supply sufficient fuel air mixture so that engine is idling idling means in other words to keep the engine in a running condition when the vehicle is not in motion if the throttle valve is partially open less air will flow through the venturi thus less air flow will produce less pressure drop which in turn causes lesser fuel to discharge through the discharge nozzle and hence less air fuel mixture is delivered to the engine cylinder therefore power output is reduced if the throttle valve is open fully more air will flow through the venturi thus more air causes more pressure drop which in turn causes more fuel to discharge through the discharge nozzle and hence more air fuel mixture is delivered to the engine cylinder therefore power output is increased you can also see another butterfly valve is provided before venturi tube this is called choke valve the function of the choke valve is to choke or block the air supply causing very less quantity of air to pass through it during the suction stroke there is a partial vacuum in this region since the air supply is choked or blocked partially this causes less air and more fuel to be drawn in thus producing rich air fuel mixture choke valve is very helpful during cold starting of the engine since we all know during the cold weather the engines usually do not start this is because of lower temperature due to which the fuel do not vaporizes and mix with air to give uniform mixture in this case we close the choke valve to provide more fuel and less air to the engine cylinder thus supplying fuel rich mixture and helping in starting of the engine in cold weather this is how theoretically a carburetor works hope you have understood the construction and the working of the carburetor if you like my video click on the like button and consider subscribing my channel to get all my latest videos first and do not forget to give your opinion about this video in the comment section below which will help me in improving my quality of explanation
Also share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.